What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Last video, we talked about shooting, a key concept in ranking out of bronze, silver, and gold. But today we're gonna be talking about something a little bit different. We're talking about the rank that no one likes to admit they're actually stuck in. But first, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, hit that bell button. So every time I release a video, you get notified and you guys can always do what you wanna do comment first. Also, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. On Fridays, we usually host viewer tournaments, which is a great way for you guys to come and improve your skills against higher or lower ranked players. So don't be afraid to pop your head into chat, introduce yourself, and tell me a little bit about your Rocket League rank and what's troubling you the most. One of the hardest ranks to overcome in Rocket League is the rank that a majority of all Rocket League players are stuck in. It's the rank where people think they are actually a lot better than they really are, and you just run into a ton of smurfs. Plat, in my opinion, is one of the most difficult ranks to get out of, just because of all the obstacles you have to get over in order to get to Diamond. So I will be giving you guys some tips that helped me get through Plat. The first tip might be a little hard for you guys to swallow, and that is you are not as good as you think you are. Tons of plat players always come into my chat and say they can flip reset, breezy flick, but you're still in plat. And that shows where your head is at. You are more focused on hitting difficult shots instead of doing the little things, shooting with the right technique, proper rotations, boost management, and knowing when it's time to play ball control. So focus on these little things and be able to admit to yourself, I need to do these better in order to get out of plat. The second tip that I can give you guys that helped me get through platinum is having a more passive play style. What does this mean you may ask? Playing passive might be a boring way to play, but it does help you with teammates that have absolutely no clue what they are doing. It helps you dictate your own pace that you are comfortable with playing. Playing passive does not mean just sitting back on your side of the field and waiting for the ball to come to you. It just means you must play smart and take calculated risks when you are playing with these types of teammates that just, just have no clue. My third tip is you must be consistent. The earlier you learn to play with consistency, the better you will be. Consistency just does not happen overnight. It's something you learn from mistakes and doing something over and over again. So what do I always say? Use free play and training maps to hammer out these consistency flaws, whether it be defense or offense. Free play and training maps can help you learn to make these consistent plays. Take 10 minutes a day to practice these things before you play, and I guarantee you will get out of plat. My last and final tip is learning rotations. In the description below, I will link some videos that will help you learn what rotations are. But basically, rotations help dictate whose turn it is when hitting the ball. By learning to do this properly, it will not only help you, but your other teammates around you. It essentially helps with the flow of your game, and like I said earlier, helps you figure out your own play style. And like I said earlier, guys, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and as well, hopefully I see you guys over on Twitch, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love to have you over there. Thank you guys for watching and take it easy.